Hey guys, make sure to send your DNT if you make one common mistake you may end up spending thousands of dollars on tools, parts and diagnostic that you may actually not even need. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW X3 or X4. That generation that you see right here from year 2010 to year 2018. If you need to find where the fuses for the central console cigarette lighter are located, which fuses and relays control it, stay with us, we'll explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays, it's a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience please make sure to stay until the end so before we start guys let us tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix engines transmissions engine codes fuses uh, bodywork a little bit of everything why we guys do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you and guys if you need to buy any parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way do not waste money and time we're going to put links in the description of the video below for your convenience check it out that way do not waste your money guys also we will have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels check them out guys we'll have videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs as well so let's start on it now so guys this bmw has many hidden fuse boxes that most people do not know that they even exist you have up to five or six different fuse boxes and for many of you okay some of those are special fuse boxes kind of like this one here if you don't know about them guys we'll recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on bmw x3 x4 check it out it can save you thousands of dollars in repairs so guys where you can expect to find the fuse and the relay for the center console serial lighter will demonstrate on that bmw right here now the first thing guys that you will uh, actually need to do is open the passenger door and when you do that open the glove box empty the content and when you guys look inside on the very back on the right side you have that cover remove it behind it okay you see that not just push down pull the cover out and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let us tell you guys why it's super important to test fuses and relays fuses guys sometimes are really hard to know if they're burnt or not for instance i'm going to pull one fuse here okay and sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're good they're bad and let's say you think you have a good fuse you put it back in and you end up having problems again and you spend time money you buy parts diagnostics you pay for services that you don't need guys you practically wasted your money so all you have to do waste uh, ch ch check your fuses that way you don't waste money guys so always test your fuses even if you think it's good always test it it even happened to us guys okay and we work on cars all the time another thing always test your relays they're a little bit harder to uh, test but if you want to see guys how to test fuse relays we will put a link in the description of the video below but we've seen so many customers that think that they have a good fuse they put it back in they waste their money on parts and diagnostic that they practically guys do not need so check out the link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse and how to test the relay as well so guys all these fuses that we'll need to check are for cigarette lighters also known as power outlet sockets so let's explain where they're located we'll be working actually in two different fuse boxes so make sure to stand till the end and if we zoom in come to the bottom section of that fuse box the first fuse that you will need to check is known as fuse number 54 we're talking about this fuse right here the next fuse that you need to check is fuse number 65 so uh, that right here is 62 3 4 5 65 that one here then you need to open your trunk and on the side you have that cover just pull that cover and behind it here behind that insulation you have a fuse box that looks like this one here guys we need to check more fuses we'll talk about the relays in a little bit so the fuses guys okay that we need to check will be multiple ones because we have multiple cigarette lighter sockets known as power outlet sockets in the uh, feed compartment the front one center console the trunk the rear multiple multiple charging points so 
What we need to do first, we need to check fuse number 107. We're talking about this one right here, that 5M fuse right there will need to be checked. Then you need to check fuse number 111. You may or may not have this one depending okay, on which option package you have. After that, we will need to check fuse 143. So in that row here, uh, the first fuse is 142, 43. This fuse right here, 15 amp fuse, will need to be checked. Then you need to check 144 right next to it. So these two fuses. After that, you need to locate fuse number 171. You may or may not have this one. If you have it, it will be the one on the bottom here. And <coughs> also you may have fuse, uh, excuse me, uh, yes, 171 and 176 next to it. This one, that 15 amp fuse. Now, Realize guys, you have very limited amount of relays in that car. Practically you do not have relays for cigarette lighters or power outlet sockets. Those fuses are known as relay fuses. So if you have a problem with a power outlet socket, cigarette lighter not working, check the fuses. If it keeps blowing, you have a bad cigarette lighter socket. If you want to see how to replace one, we have videos on the channel that will teach you how to do that step by step. So guys, if you need to buy uh, parts, tools, fuses, relays for your BMW with a good price, quick shipping guys. We're going to put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them from because we have very specific fuses, especially these little fuse boxes guys, those could be really hard to find. You can see like the one right here as well guys and we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping as well. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful. If you have any questions let us know. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.